Las Vegas, Nevada here on the WAFL Network. We will join this game already in progress. Columbus got the ball to start the game. Graham Holiday is suspended. Kimbrough on the first play from scrimmage was sacked for a loss of five yards. Let's send it down to Devil's Gate. Onto the field for tonight's second game of our doubleheader. Second down, 15. Columbus back to throw. They have four players suspended tonight as the backup QB slides and gets the five yards back that he lost after the sack. Third down and 10. It is going to be a hard game to win for the Columbus Cavalry. <clears throat> Graham Holiday has been suspended due to rule violations, as have the other three defenders on Columbus's starting rotation as that pass is incomplete intended for Nate King and quickly three and out fourth down and ten for Las Vegas <clears throat> just like that Las Vegas has all the momentum Columbus shorthanded tonight as Marcus Berry returns to the 45 yard line if Las Vegas wins, they are in first place in the Western Conference for the first time this year after Cincinnati crumbled again, this time to Edmonton, 31-24. Vegas takes the handoff, and Vegas cannot go anywhere. Loss of a yard. If you haven't checked it, check the Game Center for last game's important team stats and player leaderboards of Edmonton's big win as Redstone breaks a few tackles and gets out to the 31-yard line. First down, and Redstone's been in the media a lot this week, being talked about how he is the next great receiver in the WAFL. He breaks two tackles there, and he's into the 31-yard line. Again, Columbus playing without three of their defensive starters this evening as Palmer gets the carry to the 26, second down five. Six fifteen to go in the first quarter. Inferno runs the option and that's, how is that not a fumble? They rule it an incomplete pass saying that it was going forward and Vegas caught a big break. <coughs> Inferno first down. First down and 10 just inside the 20 for the Diablos two minutes into this contest. Inferno handoff to Palmer. Palmer gets it to the 16, second down seven. High formation, fake, they pitch it to Palmer. He ducks back inside. A gain of just a one, one yard on the play. Third down and six, we'll see if this shorthand cavalry defense dressed in gold, white, blue with blue numbers and red trim can get an opening stop. Sellers in motion. Inferno back to throw. Inferno completes, but that is short of the first down. Fourth down four, and Las Vegas will have to kick the field goal. If Vegas were to lose tonight with Graham Holiday out, with three defensive starters out, with a chance to get first place in the Western Conference for the first time this season, that would really hurt Las Vegas' confidence. 30-yard field goal here is up and missed. Five oh two to go. And already shells of the former self. Vegas's play at home. And it's interesting the top teams in the West are undefeated on the road as another sack there for the Diablos loss of five while the 
Eastern Conference teams are undefeated at home. So it's an interesting comparison there between the two conferences. 4.48 to go. Columbus backed up again. They've been set, sacked twice on four plays. Back to throw. That pass is complete to the 19-yard line. Third down, 12. Pass is knocked down. So two three and outs for Columbus's offense without quarterback Graham Holiday starting with 4.22 to go in the first. They punt again. Tomorrow, game of the week between the 6-2 Boston Maulers and the 5-3 Delaware Destruction as Barry breaks through a couple tackles to the 44. Good game, 7.30 p.m. Saturday, right here on Justin TV. Uh, before that game, Queen City and D.C. square off at 5.30, trying to get into third place in the Eastern Conference. Iden Inferno over and throws his intent of receiver, second down 10. Inferno back to throw. Inferno's pass almost intercepted. And for missing three defensive starters, Columbus's defense is off to a good start. Inferno out of the shotgun. He was in a slump last week throwing three picks. Inferno, penalty on the play. That may be pass interference. Pass interference on the Calvary. That's on Ronnie Cotton, and that gives Las Vegas a first down and 10 at the 44. Tough break there for Columbus. Inferno back to throw. Inferno picked off. Columbus's defense off to an excellent start. Interception made by Larkin. 3.55, first quarter, no score. We saw the West get a lot more balance last week, and we may see it again tonight. Option play, Weaver. Just barely gets two yards. Throw is complete out to Nate King, I believe, to the 49. Three thirty one to go. Three twenty five, first quarter on the forty eight. Back to throw, screen pass. Weaver breaks a tackle. Excellent play by John, uh, by Jeremy Weaver to the forty yard line of Vegas. And Kimbrough completes an excellent play, but Weaver made that first down happen. Kimbrough out of the shotgun. Back to throw. Kimbrough over the middle. That is caught for a first down to the 21 yard line. But I believe an injury on the end of that play. That is Cooley who was shaken up. Kimbrough, good offensive drive here for Columbus, but they give the ball to Weaver, and it all goes to hell. No gain on the play. Second down, 10. No pun intended. Cooley's out two quarters with back spasms. That's the theme of the night. Lots of players out for a half. 
Kimbrough back to throw. Kimbrough's pass is complete, and that's not going anywhere either. Third down, 12, a loss of two. That's a first down, Tony Franklin. Two ten to go. Columbus has quieted this Vegas crowd. I don't know what to think of the Western Conference anymore. Kimbrough's pass complete inside the ten, and eight King down to the five. Kimbrough, option. Kimbrough, pitches, and it's picked off. Terrible decision. If Kimbrough would have kept it, that might have been a touchdown. Whitesdale picks it off. One forty to play. Still no score in the first quarter. Can Las Vegas' offense get it going? Second down, seven. Palmer again on the carry. Third down, two. Inferno keeps it himself, slides short of the first down. What was Ivan Inferno thinking there? So Columbus gets it back, still with no score on the board. Cooper returns it. Columbus allowed 51 points to the Spartans last week. They've allowed none here on the road today. Weaver is second consecutive screen catch to midfield. seconds first quarter Kimbrough out of the shotgun no score Kimbrough back to throw Kimbrough completes Tony Franklin out to the 45 yard line pick up a five over the middle first down to the 28 First and ten, Nate King having a good game, good first quarter. That may be the final play of the first quarter. And that is the end of the first quarter. Columbus zero, Las Vegas zero. Interesting first quarter as Columbus hangs around without four.